this is artist Tara Reed, and I went on a mission to figure out how to make the perfect size dog bandana for your dog. And it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Now, obviously an eight pound dog is gonna have different size requirements than an 80 pound dog. I knew that, but it's even a little bit trickier than that. For example, this small one is for a snap for the same dog that you need this one if you wanna tie it. So I have borrowed my neighbor's dog for a demo and then I have some quick calculations for you so that you can get this done and make it perfect for your dog. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just take a tape measure and gently measure around your dog's neck very loosely, not tight. So we're gonna say we got like 13 and a half inches and there's lots of room in there. So then when you are planning the scarf, keeping my finger where that was. So this is about two inches longer than the neck. So it's gonna be perfect with a snap. Let's see how cute you look. And then I'll have measurements. So this one's a little long, but I kind of like to do the, so it's like a little, it's like a little Western dog where it's wrinkled up a little bit. If you want it shorter, you can just decrease the length and I will include directions on how that works. And this is reversible. So if he's feeling just a little more plain one day, he can just wear the red. Now, if you wanna do one that ties, you're gonna take the length of the neck and then add about 10 inches. And then you have plenty of room tie the bandana and still have it nice and loose and this one is you're being such a good model and this one is reversible as well all right thanks so much coda you did such a good job now the hardest part of doing a dog bandana is figuring out how wide to make said dog bandana. I use my neighbor's dog, Coda, to help demonstrate how to measure your dog and figure out the width. And now I'm gonna show you just how quick, I mean, basically you're making a two-sided triangle, which this is the one that I tied on Coda. And then this is the one with the snap. And you'll see that I did a little bit different length and the width is quite different based on whether you want to tie or snap. So let me show you what I did. And this is using my fall barn quilts fabric. I love the selvage on fabric anymore because um, we're getting him ready for fall. So I cut two pieces of fabric and this is to make the tie one, 25 inches wide by 11 inches tall. And that's going to make it a little bit long on him because I wanted it to bunch a little bit at the top. So now you're just gonna put the fabric right sides together and then fold it in half. Take your ruler and go corner to corner and cut. So now you have some great corners if you wanna use that for quilting or some other project, just set those aside. And now you have the triangle. So you're just going to pin or clip this together and sew with a quarter inch seam all the way around. Leave an opening. I like to leave my opening up here towards where you would tie or where the snap is because it's gonna be the least obvious if you don't get it uh, pressed under perfectly. So you're gonna leave that open, sew all the way around. Then we're going to flip it right side out and use a tool so that you get your points out nicely. So you're gonna, it's hard to see on that side. You're gonna just top stitch and that will close your opening as well. And that's all there is to it. So as long as you figure out the size that you need, this is a super, super easy project to do. And if you go to my blog, if you aren't there already, I have more details about how to figure out how wide you need this to be and how tall you want it to be based on the size of your dog and whether you wanna tie it or snap it. Mm -hmm.